We are now just 166 days away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. That is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy itself that will also end the Skywalker saga. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So by far, one of the more interesting aspects of Episode 9 is how this film at the end of the day is really going to connect to the prequels and the originals that's going to be used as a way to evolve the character characters of Rey and Kylo Ren in Episode 9, which I think is honestly brilliant by J.J. Abrams as a way to really kind of just make the characters, you know, evolving in a very satisfying way for the audience that goes ahead and sees this movie come December of this year. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very intriguing for Episode 9. Now specifically, what's really interesting about all of this is that shot description consisting of Rey wielding her ignited lightsaber as she goes through one of the Sith ruins within the land of the Forbidden, which is located in the Jedi runes as well. It's described that she is holding her lightsaber that is now reforged, where it's described that she begins to sense a strange connection to a dark side entity. It's said that eventually Rey connects with what's described to be the hybrid force ghost of Darth Vader, which is also dubbed as a Sith spirit, an original idea by Abrams for Episode 7. It said that the reason Rey holds a connection to Darth Vader's hybrid force ghost is because she has a dark side power that is dormant within her that allows her to connect with the Sith spirit of Vader. Additionally, it's said that as Rey makes her way through the Sith runes, Vader's spirit is described to contribute to Rey's power that will be used to initiate the flash fights against Kylo Ren, where the force bond abilities are elevated. The sequence is said to include distant and distant Vader mask breathing sound effects while she is connecting to the hybrid force ghost of Vader, where it's planned to have an echo effect. The sequence is best described as something straight out of a horror film. It's implied that this is the sequence in which Vader's spirit contributes to Rey's new power, that it has all to do with the dark power that lies dormant within herself. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this because we do know that episode 9 is really going to tap into a lot of Star Wars Legends material. And we've seen very similar you know, powers just like this in the EU and similar experiences like that in some of the books and the novels, etc. So the one thing that really stands out to me the most is how it's described that Rey has this dormant dark side power within her and could very well explain as to why she tapped into the dark side at the very end of The Force Awakens where she was about to strike, strike down Kylo Ren, which is why she heard the voice in her head telling her to kill him in the novelization of Episode 7, of course. Now, I want to go over the Sith runes that's also called the Land of the Forbidden. Now, the Land of the Forbidden is basically a location full of Sith artifacts, uh, Sith ruins, and Sith uh, graveyards that, that actually hold a lot of different statues. And the reason as to why she's able to connect with the Darth Vader hybrid force ghost, also known as a Sith spirit, is because of this dark side power that resides within her. Now, the one piece that really stands out to me the most, though, however, is how the dark side is actually going to be lying within Rey, and that allows her to connect with the Vader Force Spirit. That also, in turn, allows the Darth Vader entity in order to initiate a power that elevates the Force Bond abilities that lead to the flash fights at the very end of the Rise of Skywalker, or at least it's one of the entities that helps her in a way where she gains new powers that are somewhat associated with the dark side. So I think that what they're trying to do here is that they're trying to find a balance between light and dark because we also went over a sequence in which Rey goes over to the Jedi location and connects with Kenobi's force ghost and his interaction with her also is able to initiate a part of those flash fights. So what I like about episode 9 is that it's really tapping into a lot of force lore, a lot of new revelations about the Jedi and the Sith that's going to be used in a sense where we're going to understand you know, the ancient ways in greater depth with episode 9. You know, JJ has hinted at this before in the past that this movie has the potential to be the longest Star Wars film in existence, so far at least, right? Uh, he said that this movie can be anywhere from 5 minutes to 4 hours. 
You know, that was the range he gave us, which means it could be three hours, it could be two hours and 55 minutes. Who, you know, it's really like who knows at this point. But a, a nice long running time really allows us to get invested in these characters uh, and to somewhat involve more character development since both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi had no time jump or no time gap, if you will. So with that being said, the whole entire, you know, Sith Ruins location seems like a very intriguing spot, and especially the fact that Rey has this dark side power that resides within her, it really makes you wonder about her origins, exactly who she is, and where she really comes from, and exactly how that's going to be used within the second and the third acts of Episode 9 by J.J. Abrams. As far as Darth Vader goes, you can really see how they're using him to loom in the background and to really push the characters forward in this story. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.